Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Dawn of Just Being Real. My channel is about dating, love, relationships, and toxic relationship advice channel. So we're going to get into this topic here with this lunatic. This lunatic by the name of Andre Bing, I believe. Make sure you read the um, description. This lunatic is a manager at the Walmart. Mm -hmm. And he goes and then he opens fire in the break room. Yes, he did. This is insane. You know, this is really sad what happened. This is another mass shooting kind of thing. And this lunatic, they saying that, you know, some of the employees had said that he was a little bit off. Yeah, he is off. I'm going to read an article. Excuse me, I'm going to show you a clip. Read your article, then I'm going to also show you another clip. And what I would like for you to do is, you know, hit the like button and share your thoughts and opinions in the comment section. Tell me what do you think. Did you hear about this? What do you think of this whole thing? Or is this in your area? You know, this is really sad. And what bothers me about this whole thing, right? You know, a lot of these people that work in these retail jobs, they're really not happy there. They really don't like those jobs, right? Because why they don't like them? Because they are overworked and underpaid. They do not get paid enough. And they work extremely hard. That's dealing with the public. And when you're dealing with the public, you got to deal with a lot of little nasty attitudes. You know, a lot of people don't appreciate them. They disrespect them. They look at them like, oh, you, you're a retail worker. You know, they look down at retail workers and they treat them like that. So it's a hard job. So just imagine they in the break room, you know, taking a break at the job they probably don't even like. You know, not really happy being there, but, you know, it's a job. And it's an honest, legal job. So there's nothing wrong with that, right? And, you know, just chilling in the bake room. And, you know, they probably tired, standing on their feet all day. So their feet hurt and their back is hurting, right? Especially when I see the older people. You know, I feel sorry for them, right? And, or they sitting there saying, I wish I wasn't here. I wish I wasn't working here. Or they, you know, they could have been in there just happy the holidays is coming up because, hey, holidays coming up. I get to do get a little time and a half, work a little extra hours, make that extra money, catch up on that bill, buy something for my children, or buy something for themselves. And then you got this lunatic right here, right? This lunatic had the nerves to open fire in there, and he's a manager. Yeah, uh huh. You got to be flipping kidding me. You really do. This is really sad. All right, and then um, let me show you this. I guess this is this lunatic's vehicle. And then also, this is where the lunatic lived at, and they had to go and raid the house, which I don't blame them. Um, you see how they broke down the door at the lunatics? You know, you gotta be kidding me. So, all right, I'm gonna um show a video, and then let's we're gonna get into this video here with this lunatic. You gotta be kidding me! Wow. You know, do this to these people. Working hard and they're working these crazy hours. They were working a night shift because the shift was turning over to the 10 o'clock I guess that's like the night shift that they work in and a lot of people don't really want to work night shifts But they do it because it's a little extra money and they don't have much of a choice Or well, you know, sometimes maybe people work a night shift because they might be going to school in the daytime or whatever But it's hard working night shifts and you have to deal with this He comes into the break room and opens fire Yep, let's get it ladies and gentlemen Second mass shooting in less than a week's time at a Walmart in with the latest. Just before Thanksgiving, instead of celebrating, seven families will now be mourning after a mass shooting inside this Walmart. Responded to District 402, 1521 Sam Circle at the Walmart for a gunshot wound. Just after 10 o'clock Tuesday night, the first 911 calls came from inside this Chesapeake, Virginia Walmart. By 11.20 p.m., police declared the scene safe with no risk to the general public. But inside, carnage. Victims have died. Four victims are in area hospitals with conditions unknown at this time. 
and the suspect is dead from what we believe was a self-inflicted gunshot wound. Police confirming the shooter was an employee of the store. Witnesses say the man was a store manager who opened fire in a break room. Brianna Tyler was in that room getting ready for her shift. And basically, as soon as my team lead started the meeting, my manager came around the corner, stood in the doorway of the break room, and just opened fire. And he was shooting any and everybody that he could. The store was open to customers when shots rang out. Time stopped. It, it, it felt like forever getting out that store, but it, it just it hurts because, you know, I'm quite sure I'm going to find out that I lost some people that I, I know I had built a rapport with. In a statement, Walmart saying, we are shocked at this tragic event. We're working closely with law enforcement, and we are focused on supporting our associates. Now, the store will remain closed until FBI and local police process the scene. Hello, I'm Mark Brown. Get more great ABC7 content by subscribing. He just came in in the break room and just went berserk. This lunatic. Okay, I'm going to read this article on this lunatic real quick. And then I'm going to also show you another clip. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, let's get it. All right, this article came from um, NBC News, I believe. And when did it come out? This came out November 23rd, 2022. And before I read this article, let me add this. These lunatics the psychopaths and all this kind of stuff they always want to show themselves around the holiday time <clears throat> this is when they show themselves it never fails just before the holiday remember ladies and gentlemen misery likes company all right let's get into this article six killed at least six injured in a virginia walmart after employee opened fire on co-workers the shooter was identified by the company as a night manager who's been with this with the store since 2010 so he's been there for 2010 hmm. all of those killed were workers at the store the night manager who killed six other workers at the walmart in virginia and wounded at least a half a dozen others was identified by the company's Wednesday as a 31-year-old Andre Bing. Bing, who took his own life after opening fire on his co work see? He took the punk way. Just like a punk. <clears throat> Excuse me. <sighs> Resume. Worked overnight shift at the Walmart Supercenter in the city of Chesapeake and was a longtime employee, the company said in the statement. We can confirm that he was the Walmart associate. The, the statement reads, Andre, the lunatic, position with the company was an overnight team lead and he's been employed with us since 2010. The Chesapeake City officials also confirmed the name of the shooter on the official Twitter account and said that he was that he was armed with one handgun and mul multiple multiple magazines. I don't understand what's up with the magazines but mm, let's get into it. Finish reading. City's official on Wednesday identified five of the victims read the um, description get the victims names and a 16 year old male who what who also killed but his name his name is being withheld at this time due to him being a minor so he shot a 16 year old so 16 year old was in that break room in high school in high school probably just working a part-time job you know to make that money so he can you know for his graduation for his prom so he can look nice or whatever it is you know what i mean just to look nice yeah and this lunatic comes in here and do what he did all right let me resume reading where am i at city officials on wednesday identified five of the victims oh i said that one already let me resume Walmart said that all the victims were Walmart employees. Police on Wednesday searched the suspect's home as they tried to establish motive for the mass killing. There were believed to be about 50 people in the store when the shooting started, police said. So let me show you the home. I showed you that earlier, but this is the home. This is what they came in and raid. You see the door busted down. Okay, let me go back. Where was I at? Oh, he was... All right, this is what someone said. I guess one of the employees that said there, right? He was just weird. 27-year-old Shajinra Reese, I can't pronounce her name, of Chesapeake said of Bing in an interview 
with NBC. So people were saying that he was weird. He was a little bit off. Yeah, uh-huh. He's a lunatic. Reason being what um, Bing was her boss at the Walmart from 2014 to 2018. And he would put tape over the camera of his phone because he was convinced the government was watching him. He said the government's watching. See, when people start talking like that, I usually get a little bit red flag. Something is off. Something is off. And he definitely proved it. Reason reading. He never talked about anything dealing with violence ever, Reese said. Always stuff about the government, his weight, his family, stuff like that. Bing was found dead in the break room with two other fatalities, the city of Chesapeake tweeted Wednesday afternoon. Another victim was found dead near the front of the store and three other shooting victims were rushed to the local hospital but died later with later from the injuries, officials said. So sad and they probably suffered too. At least at least six other people were rushed to the local hospital for treatment, officials said. Santera Healthcare also uh, um excuse me, Santera Care Healthcare, excuse me, said it had two patients in critical condition Wednesday night. It was the deadliest store shooting since May when a racist white gunman shot 10 black people dead at a grocery store in Buffalo, New York, according to the NBC News Tally. I know y'all remember that when it happened in Buffalo, New York. What is going on with these people? What is in the air? Ladies and gentlemen, watch your surroundings. Be careful. Be careful at work. Be careful when you go in the store, wherever. Just be careful. If you see something off, get out immediately. Resume reading. Chesapeake um, Police Department said that we're a couple of days before the um, Thanksgiving holiday. It's just a bad time all around, just for everybody involved, especially the victims. This is horrible. Let's see what President Biden had to say. Because of yet another horrific and senseless act of violence, there are now even more tables across the country that will have empty seats this Thanksgiving. And that's so true. Biden said in a statement, there are now more families who know the worst kind of loss and pain immanageable. Almost done, ladies and gentlemen. The first report of the gunfire at the Walmart Supercenter were logged at 10 12 p.m. Tuesday and and when the police arrived minutes later the shooter was already dead Chesapeake police chief mark said he confirmed the employees died from the employee died from self-inflicted gunshot wound both the FBI and the Federal Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, Firearms, and Explosives were assisting in the investigation, the agencies confirmed. Mm, mm, mm. What a shame. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to show you um, another clip. In this clip here, I'm going to show you the press conference that they had, the breaking news press conference. Let's listen to that one real quick. This is so sad. Okay. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, let's watch it. Let's get it. They show uh, programming right now for breaking news from Chesapeake 6, but a suspect also dead. And multiple victims. Let's listen to something. Yes, he's the division commander for the state police. Greg's common spelling. Matthias is. M-A-T-H-I-A-S. Standing next to him is Sheriff Jim O'Sullivan. Jim Common Spelling O'Sullivan is capital O apostrophe, capital S-U-L-L-I-V-A-N. Standing next to him is Chief Fire Chief Ed Elliott. Elliott is E-L-L-I-O-T-T. -T. Standing next to him is uh, Police Chief Mark Seleski, M-A-R-K. Seleski is S O L. E S K Y, and then to my immediate left is our city manager Chris Price. Common spelling. Um, going to ask the city manager to come up and give some remarks. After that, Chief Seleski is going to come up and uh, give an update to the incident that occurred. 
And then after that, we'll take, we'll take some questions. For future updates after that, we're going to be posting to our city's Twitter account, which is at About Chesapeake. It's the official Twitter account for the city of Chesapeake. So with that, uh, Mr. Price. Thank you. I know it pains all of us to be together today on this day of incredible tra tragedy and unimaginable sadness. Chesapeake's a wonderful place. We come together when, when times are good. We come together when times are difficult. I know that, that we're going through very, very difficult days today and in the days ahead, but, but we will get through this. Mayor West was unable to join us today. He's tested positive for COVID, but he, asked, he has asked me to read a statement. I'm devastated by the senseless act of violence that took place last night in our city. My prayers are with all of those affected, the victims, their family, their friends, and their coworkers. I'm grateful for the quick actions taken by our first responders who rushed to the scene. Chesapeake is a tight-knit community, and we are all shaken by this news. Together, we will support each other throughout this time. Please keep us in your prayers. Before I turn it over to Chief Seleski, I'd like to make a few remarks. Um, first of all, I'm very, very proud of the response of our public safety team and our other first responders, including those in human services and, and mental health. You hope a day like this never comes, but we train for it, we practice, we talk about it, we discuss, we learn lessons from other places, we try to put those lessons to get good use, hoping that, that, that those lessons will never have to be put to use. But, but it's kept us in good standing today and hopefully we'll continue to do so in the challenging days ahead. I also wanted to let everyone know that we as a city and a leadership team have been in very close communication throughout the evening with Mayor West and with the Chesapeake City Council. They've been fully briefed on everything that's going on from our response um, to, to what's, what's moving forward in the days ahead, as well as Governor Yunkin and his staff, the Attorney General and his team, members of our federal and state delegation, several of whom are here today. And I want to let you all know that we are united in our support for the victims, their families, their co-workers, and our entire community. And we do ask that you pray with us for everyone impacted by this tragedy. And I'll now turn it over to Chief Seleski. Thank you. Good morning. We are truly saddened at the tragedy that took place in our community last night. And we are all praying for the family, friends, and co-workers of everyone that's affected by this senseless violence. I want to say to them that your Chesapeake community is here for you and will continue to be here for you during the difficult days, months, and years ahead. Chesapeake first responders are well trained for such incidents. They responded immediately and will continue to do the work of investigating and answering questions in the days to come. We also appreciate the multi-agency response we've received, and I'll now go over a timeline of events for you. Our 911 dispatch center received the first call at 10.12 p.m. last night. The first officers arrived on scene within two minutes at 10.14 and entered the store approximately two minutes later at 10.16. The first responding officers entered the store and the scene was declared safe by 11.20 p.m. I would like to express our sincere thanks for the immediate assistance we, see, we received from the Chesapeake Fire Department, the Chesapeake Commonwealth Attorney's Office, the Virginia Beach Police Department, the Virginia State Police, the FBI, and the ATF. While our investigation continues, we can tell you the following. Six victims have died. Four victims are in area hospitals with conditions unknown at this time. And the suspect is dead from what we believe was a self-inflicted gunshot wound. The Chesapeake Police SWAT team executed a search warrant at the suspect's residence. And with the help of the Virginia State Police, we cleared the house. We have reason to believe that there's no risk to the public at this time. Again, while this investigation is ongoing, I'll go ahead and take a few questions now. We cannot tell you the identity of the shooter because his next of kin has not been notified. And yes, sir. There have been a lot of reports that the shooter was an employee of the Walmart. Can you confirm that? Yes, we can confirm that. 
uh, he wanted to know was the shooter an employee of Walmart, and we were able to confirm that. Was the shooter in a position to I can't confirm that. You'd have to check with Walmart to be sure. A pistol is all we were able to say at this time. Ms. Miller, did you have a question? Um, can you confirm or do you know if these attacks were targeted against any specific employees or if this individual was named at random? We don't know at this time. The investigation is still ongoing, so there's no clear motive at this time. Mr. Hall, what are the, uh, are, do we know if the victims are also all employees? We can't confirm that at this time. I don't have that information. I'm sorry. Okay, Ms. Yeah. Um, it was said that the shooting happened in the break room. Um, were they was the door locked behind this individual after the shooting started? Was it? Um, can you? I guess can you share any more information about what happened inside the break room at that time? I cannot. It, like I said, the investigation is still ongoing. We'll be processing that scene for days, so we're really not sure. And I'd hate to put out misinformation. Yes, ma'am. No, no ma'am, not at this time. Not that I'm aware of at this time. Like I said, the investigation is still ongoing. There were no other weapons aside from the pistol that were used? Not that I'm aware of at this time. Sir, can you tell us approximately where in the store the suspect's body was located? I cannot, not at this time. I didn't go in the store myself, so and like I said it's still being still in the break room or if the individual left the store kind of Yeah, I, I don't know that at this time. Uh, I can't confirm that right now. Just to con confirm the shooter was a male, I, I gather from what you're saying. Yes. And, and do you have, can you tell the shooter's age? I don't have that at this time. Mr. Hall? Uh, I was going to ask, do you know, was, was the shooter dead by the time officers found the suspect? As far as I know, he was, yes. Two questions here. Um, First, I believe that first we said there were five, or we heard from Sintera that there were five victims in the hospital. Do we know if one of those people have been released since you said four? I don't know that. I know there's four there now. Okay. And then the other thing that I have, I'm hearing that the suspect may have been playing some type of loud, hardcore type of music. Have you heard that or been able to confirm that as he was going on his... I can't confirm that at this time. Yes, sir. Uh, you said that the scene was declared safe around 11.20. Can you walk us through a little bit of, you know, how the shooter was subdued? I mean, we've heard reports that it was a self-inflicted kind of shock wound. Anything of that nature that you walk us through? Yeah, as I said, at this time, we believe it was a self-inflicted gunshot wound. Um, can you, uh, you gave us the, the timeline of, of police response. Do you know for how long the, the shooter himself was active in the store before he shot himself? I, I don't have that information at this time. Do you, um, for, do you have the range of the age of the victims at the time? I don't. And what happens next at this time? Well, the investigation is still ongoing, like I said, so we have to process, process the scene, which could take days. Well, can we know approximately how many customers were inside the Walmart at the time? I, I don't have that information, no. But the store was open? Yes, it was. Was it going to close at 11? I don't know that. Chief, um, witness said that the suspect was laughing during the time of the shooting. Can you confirm that? I cannot confirm that. Was there a security guard, a Walmart security guard there on the premises at all? Not that I'm aware of. You'd have to reach out to Walmart for that. Can you tell us, sir, what city the suspect is from? I don't have that information. I, I'm sorry, I don't want to give you misinformation. I, I don't have it. Yes, was, was the shooter working at the time, or was it a day off and just showed up? Do you know if he, if he, if he was on the clock? I can't confirm that. You'd have to reach out to Walmart for that. But he was a current employee. As far as I know, he was a current employee. And you may not be able to answer this as well. Sure. Do, you, do you know if the Walmart is going to be closed? I imagine it's going to be closed for some time. Oh yes. While we process the scene, it'll it'll stay closed. We're in cooperation with the FBI processing the scene. Sir, the condition of the victims, the current condition, if any are critical or I'm sorry. Yeah, I don't have that information. The condition's unknown at this time. Do you know if they're all at one hospital or multiple urban hospitals? Uh, area hospital is all I have. 
Yes, ma'am. Is there a reason the next of kin hasn't been notified yet? I don't know why, you know, whether or not they're having trouble figuring out who his next of kin are and where they are. I guess, I guess the one you said that you don't believe the community is in danger. What leads you to believe that? What, what can the community know that there's not any further threat? I guess that, not that you the, believe this person acted alone. As far as we know now, yes, and that he's deceased. All right. Any uh, any further information? We'll conclude that at this point. So any information going forward will be pushed out through our city's official Twitter account, which is at about Chesapeake. <laughs> All right, a press conference wrapping up right now after a deadly shooting at a Chesapeake Walmart. Six people dead. New information, very limited. But what we have learned now is that call came in around 10 12 last night. Within just two minutes, officers were on the scene, and two minutes later, they were inside the building responding. Uh, we understand from police officers the suspect is said to have killed himself and that he had used a pistol in that shooting. We're also learning that officers and officials, investigators have searched the suspect's house at this point. Not a lot of information about what they may have found inside, but they say there's no ongoing threat to the community. Uh, several questions about what the motive may have have been who were and even who the suspect was those questions we're still looking for answers uh, some of that information may have to come from Walmart some from our reporters that are going to continue to follow this story today you can stay with NBC 12 this is this is really horrific what happened very horrific this is so sad and it's like I said it's something about these lunatics they always want to show themselves when it comes to the holidays you ever notice you got that family member that gets on your nerves and when it comes to the holidays they just show themselves the misery likes company it, it, it just never fails all right so I have another clip I'm going to show you now this is the clip that I'm going to show you I think I think could be wrong that it was this was like a video that was happening that night before all right, hold on. Let me let me get the video and then I'll, you know, break it down to you. Give me a second. All right. Okay, I'm gonna show this video here um, with TMZ. Well, it's circling and everything. But this video, if I'm correct, it might have been the uh, the night of the shooting, just before the shooting, that he did the video because someone like one of the um, employees was working there and was on Facebook Live. Interesting, right? Well, let's watch it. We're going to see the, um, the shooter, the lunatic. Oh, my gosh. Let's get it. Yeah. Remember that it was nice. It was fun. Yeah. Oh, we were just in the, we was driving in the back. And I was parking it and everything. I must my day off. Matter of fact, they, um, it's more fun than driving a car to me. <laughs> Facebook Live, and this, that's Andre. <laughs> Remember that it was nice, it was fun. Yeah. Remember that it was nice, it was fun. Yeah. Oh, it we was were driving in the ago. back. We was driving in the back, and I was parking it and everything. Oh, my day off. Matter of fact, they, um, it's more fun than driving a car to me. <laughs> Facebook Live. It was nice. It was when fun. Did they bring it here? Yeah, oh, we were driving in the ago. back. We was driving in the back, and I was parking it and everything. Oh, I must have been my day off. Matter of fact, they um, it's more fun than driving a car to me. Look at the face of a psychopath. Just look at him. You just never know, ladies and gentlemen. Who you working with? You just never know. This man was plotting. He's been plotting this for a minute. He has. He has been plotting it for a minute. Uh, hopefully, more information will come out and I'll do an update on it. But since he, you know, let himself go, I don't think it's going to be much more. Uh, they went through the house. I don't, you don't know, they came out with anything. 
All right, let me finish this video. Psychopath, you lunatic. <laughs> Facebook Live, and that's that's Andre. <laughs> When she did that video, she didn't know what was going to happen next. What a shame. Look at him. Tell me, ladies and gentlemen, don't he look like he got the eyes of the devil? Mommy and Daddy laid down and they had Satan Jr. by the name of Andre Bing. We got another one of Satan's children running around loose, but this one is dead. He's gone. Mm -hmm. He's gone. And these poor people here. You know, prayers to them and their family because I know it's hard and this is the holiday time and I also wanted to know is they said that they're gonna have to like close the store down what's gonna happen to all the other employees of there that's living check to check you know they don't work they don't get paid are they gonna still get paid so now they're gonna be behind they was looking forward to work for the holidays making that extra time or whatever it was now they can't work or the store is gonna have to be closed down I think that's what they said. So what's going to happen to them? I Let's pray that those, you know, those employees, they're still going to get paid even though they're not there. Hopefully something because of the hands of this lunatic right here. Because of him. All right, ladies and gentlemen, um, I'll wrap it up right now. Let me show you the lunatic's car real quick. That's the lunatic's car. There it goes. And that's the house that they raided. And um, see, they broke down the door. Alright, well, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to end with, you know, just be careful out there. Watch your surroundings. Be careful because you never know. You could be sitting right next to a lunatic. <laughs> you could be married to one, dating one, your children or whatever. This is sad. This shouldn't have never happened. Enough of this with the, the, these mass shootings. It's just insane. Alright, so please share your thoughts and opinions in the comment section. Tell me what you think. Also, subscribe to my channel if you like my channel. And also, share the video out if you find value in it. Alright? And stay tuned for some more of Donna Just Being Real.